Hi guys, so this is going to be a makeup tutorial from a day to night transition with Urban Decay's new Gwen Stefani palette. Everybody is loving this palette. For you, those of you who are wondering, this is brown girl friendly, obviously. And let's get started. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. Look at all the pretty colors. So I'm gonna get started with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm going to use this underneath my eyes. Actually, I'm going to use it on my eyelids as well in lieu of a primer in the center of my face. And I'm going to use a beauty blender. Now, the one I have on this tutorial is by MAC. It is very expensive. You do not need to get one of this caliber. Most of them are actually pretty much the same to me. You can get one for, from Ulta for about $4. Go ahead and use that dry if you like. My skin is a little bit drier, so you can dampen it in those particular cases. But I'm gonna get started with that because I'm not using any liquid foundation today. In my crease, I'm gonna use Zone out of this Urban Decay palette. It is a nice light brown taupey color. It's a great color for a gradient effect. And you're gonna see how this works well on both the first and second looks. On the lid, I'm gonna use Skimp. It's a creamy beige. It's got a hint of a frost to it. Not a strong one at all. It kind of started to sink into my skin a little bit, but that didn't bother me. I like the fact that it's a little bit creamy and not too bright since I can use this during the day a little bit better. And then I'm going to use a standard spoolie to go ahead and soften up those brows. And yes, I have a blemish, so I'm going to use my concealer to go ahead and cover that up as well. And then I'm going to go back in with my Tarte Cosmetics Brow Powder. This one is in dark brown. I'm going to use an angle brush. That particular brush is by Sedona Lace. It came in a kit, so I'm not sure what the number on that is, but you can use any angle brush of your liking this particular color is actually very dark guys so my brows are pretty fair but my hair is pretty dark so you don't need a lot of this powder unless you just like super super stark brows I just didn't feel like that I actually had just tweezed my brows so I feel like I'm pretty happy with them as they are right now a little bit thinner for the winter time a little softer and I'm just gonna blend that in this is really quick, so I don't have a new tutorial on brows, guys. For those of you who are about to ask me that question, I'm going to have to revert you to some old tutorials. This is Cafe. This is a NARS Creamy Concealer. I love this concealer for contouring. It just takes a little bit. I am not an over-contour, guys. I am all about that for the right people, but it's just team too much for me personally on a day-to-day -day basis, and since this is a daytime look, I'm not going to do a whole lot of that. I use the Tarte concealer. It only comes in the one color on top of it to give a little bit of a three-dimensional look between the two colors with the brown and more of a, of a creamy bronzy color. And then I just blended that out with a MAC 130 brush. There's a great Morphe brush, a great crown brush. Everybody makes a brush like this. It's a stippling brush. That's a flatter top, if you will. I am listening to Pharrell and Daft Punk. Get lucky, just wanted to share that. Um, this is Makeup Forever's Compact Shine On number three. I am not sure if they still make one like this anymore. I haven't been in the boutique in quite some time, but if they don't have one like this, it's just a nice shimmery gold. It's not too intense, which is why I like it. Again, brown girl friendly and fair girl friendly, and that's what's most important, is that it works for everybody, right? That is a flat brush, that's a, a flat powder brush that I'm using, using by Sonia Kashuk. You can get that at Target, guys. I love that brush. I'm actually now sweeping over my Studio Fix in NC42. I had already primed my skin and put moisturizer on my skin before. This is a little bit of Gingerly Blush, <laughs> Gingerly blush by MAC. Oh, I haven't done this in a while, guys. Stay with me, I haven't done it in a while. And that brush comes from Crown. It doesn't have a number on it, so I apologize. It's a nice dome brush if, if that helps, but you can use an angle brush as well. I am using Taupe Liner by MAC. It's a light brown. You can use any one that you like, but this is just to give a nice soft effect underneath the eyes, nothing too aggressive. And then I'm using Upward Lash. This is the Upward Lash by MAC. I'm not sure if that's even on the shelves anymore. I think it is. It looks a lot like the Studio Fix brush. It's got a little tiny spoolie on it, but it's wonderful, wonderful for those of you that have super long lashes. I do actually have very long lashes. I don't know if you can see them in this particular <laughs> tutorial, but it helps because the spoolie is so small. 
This liner is Savage Rose by Charlotte Tilbury and I must say that all of those liners are absolutely phenomenal. They are phenomenal, okay? It looks a little orange in the film and I'm kind of getting my groove on so you just have to get lucky. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to use Pin Up. This is by Lorac. I love these Alter Ego lipsticks. I have almost all of them and I think I have shown them all to you on Instagram many, many, many months ago. If you haven't seen it, just go back and scroll through there see if you can find them. They're all matte. They're all luscious and wonderful. You can get them from Ulta as well. I love them. Probably a Black Friday sale going on right now. Um, and that is my first look. Yes, you can use a red during the day, especially when it's your focus feature and keeping your eyes kind of a low key. And that's more traditional Gwen Stefani. For me, sans the wing liner during the day. That's me acting like I'm going to sweep out like magic and then I'm back to do my second look. And now we're listening to Take Back the Night by Justin Timberlake. I love him. We're going to go over the lid, the same look. We're not taking anything off beside your lipstick with Danger. This is a nice, beautiful blue that's also in this palette. I only used actually four colors from the palette, guys. So that's quick and easy. This is going to make it a little bit easier to transition from day to night. Now, on the lid, I use a 239 brush. It's a flat shader by MAC. And then in the crease here, I am using a e.l.f. blender brush. These brushes are amazing. The white handle brushes are only... A dollar? Yes. And then the black handle brushes are three dollars. In the crease, I am using a 219 pencil brush by MAC as well, and that shade is black out in this palette. It is a gorgeous staple matte black by Urban Decay. I'm sure you've seen it in many palettes before, and you'll absolutely see it on the shelves if you like to build your own palette. Going back in with that e.l.f. shader brush and just blending that out. This is going to be pretty dope if you want to just go from work to a party. Now, I don't carry my shadows to go from work to a party. I usually want to go work to home, <laughs> but nonetheless. And then I'm using Black Black Liner by MAC as well. I love this one. It's nice and soft. Oh, it's a chroma line. It's so soft. It's so soft and it's easy to blend. And then I'm going to take that 219 brush and blend that out a little bit. One thing you guys will know about me, and I do this a lot with my clients, I always put the liner on the outer third or just to the middle of the eye. I am not big on dragging it all the way under the eye, especially because I have smaller eyes. But just with clients in general, I feel like I can smudge it out and have more control. Now this is Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. I love this powder. It is a lot lighter than banana powder. So I'm going to say that it is not completely brown girl friendly. Not not brown brown girl friendly I don't want to lie to you guys I would say you need something a little bit darker this is Becca Cosmetics rose gold shimmer powder and I'm using that to give a little bit more dimension as well since we want this to pop for the evening a little bit of sun power um, by Mac as well that's a mineralized skin finish and then I also used a little bit of um, Earth Tear by Fashion Fair as well. I love that one. That is fair girl and brown girl friendly. And I'm saying that because a lot of people are going to sleep on the Fashion Fair. I'm going back to the Becca Cosmetics. But don't sleep on that just because it's just for women of color. I feel like everybody can use that one. And I just, I, I just don't want people to pass it up since it's there. These are 35 lashes by MAC. I don't get to wear these too often. I think they are so dope. And I'm just popping those right on because I already have mascara and I'm just pressing my lash down a little bit so that I can slide that one by right back in there. Bend that a little bit if you need to. Make sure your glue is tacky before you pop that on, please, because these are straight across. So if you don't bend them, they're going to be a little bit difficult to apply. I have worn them before and cut them already. Now I'm using Coffee Brown Liner by NYX. This is going to be about a dollar in the beauty supply. Probably three dollars, but you can usually get it for half off at Ulta Cosmetics. Then I'm using Naked 2 by Urban Decay Revolutionary Lipstick. Max Dazzle Glass in Moth to Flame. Yes, it's Moth to Flame, not Moth to a Flame. I'm gonna bop a little bit more to the song. I think at this point I am listening to Missy Elliott's new song. Nope, I am listening to Katy Perry. I just said roar because I'm a fighter. That's right. 
<laughs> I hope you guys like both of these looks and find this tutorial helpful for both the transitions and gives you a little bit of information on this new palette. Love you. Thank you. See you on the next go round. Follow me on IG and Twitter at Miss All Made Up. Bye.